In this video, I'm going to walk you through the various uh, chapters and topics you need to cover when it comes to jam mathematics. So, if you are still writing the upcoming uh, jam, then pay uh, pay close attention to what to this what uh, mass syllabus. Do you understand the mass syllabus for what jam? So it means it means that these are chapters and topics you need to what cover that way in order to do well in the words in jam mathematics. Do you understand? The main problem with students here is that. That you don't take time to study in this syllabus, you get so many students don't know what they need, they need to cover for each subject combination they are writing. So that is the problem. So now, like like what I said before, now you must try as much as possible to cover this syllabus. But how do you can cover this syllabus when you don't know what the syllabus is talking about? So that is the reason why I'm creating this video. So this video is to want to explain the various topics and chapters you must cover they were. In order to what to perform where what jam uh, um, jam mathematics just now. So we have session one, session two, session three, and what session four. So in session one we have what numbers and, and numeration. Session two we have what called the algebra. And session three we have what called geometry and what trigonometry. Session four we have what called calculus. We also have what called session five which is called probability and what statistics which I'm going to that. So now each, each of this session have their various chapters they need to cover. So like, like for the first year we have numbers and number base, here we have fraction, decimal, approximation and what percentage. Number three, we have uh, indices, logarithm and sort. Then number five, here we have what six. Do you understand? But what I'm going to do here, here is that because each of this chapter have their own topic you must cover. Do you understand? So now, numbers and base. What are the topics for you to cover in what numbers and base? In numbers and base, now, the topics you need to cover are so is what? Operation in different number bases from 2 to 10. So this is one of the things you need to cover when it comes to what numbers and base. B is what? Conversion, which is what the, the, the second thing to cover on that uh, number base. Is what? Conversion from one base to another, including a uh, fractional part, very important. So you must cover these two things when it comes to what uh, number base. So let me look at what the second one: fraction, decimal, approximation, or percentage. So in this session here, yeah, like the topic to cover, number, number one is what fraction and decimal. The second one is what uh, significant figures. The third one is what decimal place. The fourth one is what percentage error. The next one is what? Simple interest. The next one is what? Profit and loss percents. The last one, that is what is what? Ratio, proportion, and rates. So, now, under, under uh, fraction, fraction decimal, approximation, and percentage, these are the various topics you must cover. Do you understand? It's very important to cover this word, topic here. Now, there are indices, logarithm, and what sort. So, in indices, logarithm, and sort, therefore, in the indices, we have the laws of indices. We have we have a called laws of indices, then standard form. Therefore, for logarithm, we have a called laws of logarithm, logarithm of any positive number to a given base, change of base in logarithm, and application. Then, we have a called relationship between indices and what and logarithm. Then you have to work over the source. You start so you need to work over source very well. Then they have the number four which called set. On our this this first session set. In sets, you have a call type of sets, algebra of sets, Venn diagram, and their application. So these are topics you need to cover under what sets you get. So this is everything about what session one you get. You must take time to cover this this topics. You get so they want the do what first session. This is what the first session to cover under what mathematics. Now let's look at what the second session, which is called polynomial. Now the second session what is algebra, and algebra what we have a called polynomial variation, inequalities, progression, binary operation, met metrics, and what determinants. So now let's look at what each of the topic. Now let's look at what each of the topic under under them. In polynomial, you have Change of subject of formula. The next one is the next one of factors are remainder theory. They have particularization of, of polynomial. 
Hospitalization and division of polymonia. Then we have, we have, have roots of polymonia. Here we have subcutaneous equations, including one linear, one quadratic. Then the last one under this one here is one gra graph of polymonia of degree, not greater than what three. So these are the various topics you must cover in what you want in polymonia. You, you, you see that there, there's a lot of work when it comes to what this mathematics here. You, you understand? So that is why you need to understand your preparation process on time. You guys need to start your work preparation process on time. Number two is called variation. So let me the various topic in variation. Direct variation, the inverse variation, joint variation, and we also have partial variation. The last one is what? Percentage increase and decrease. So they are the various topic in other words, variation. Do you understand? Then number three, inequalities. Inequalities. So let me the various topic in inequalities. Number one is what? Analytical and graphical solution of linear inequalities. B is what? Quadratic inequalities with integral roots only. Right there. So there are the only two things I want to do what in inequalities. They like our progression. Look at our progression. So what I talk in progression into what to cover. In progression, we have called the end term of a progression. End term of, of a progression. B, we have called sum of sum of AP and what GP. I get some of what AP and what GP. These are, these, these are our topic to cover under what progression. So let's about my five binary operation. So the following year, properties of closure, commutativity, associativity, and distributivity. You get so these are the various, these are the what various um topic to cover under what binary. The last one you have, let me have metrics and what determinants. So what I'm talking to cover under matrix and determinants. In matrix and determinants, you talk about algebra of matrix not exceeding three by three. We also have determinant of matrix not exceeding what three by three. Then you have inverse of two by two matrix. We also have inverse of what two by two matrix. So that is it about uh, session two, right? Algebra, we need to cover all this here and you don't know what various topic. Then section three, geometry and what trigonometry. Lucidance geometry. Here we have lucidance what geometry. Here we have measuration. Here we have low C. Here we have coordinates geometry. And here we have trigonometry. what metric. So let's look at what each of the topic we need to cover under this year. So let's look at what the first one is lucidance geometry. In lucidance geometry, we have properties of angles and line. Is what polygon, triangles, collateral, and general polygons. The third one is what circles. And on this circle here, I want to do angles, properties, cyclic, quadrilateral, and intersecting chords. The last one I want to look at uh, construction. So this is everything about the what first one. Let's about measuration. In measuration, here we have length and area of plane. Geometrical figure B length of arc and chord of a circle. C parameters and area of section and segment of a circle. D surface area and volume of simple solid and composite figure. That would be for what measuration. So let me have low C. In low C, you only have loss in two dimension based on geometric principle relating to lines and curves. So they are the only thing I want to learn under what this loss here. Then number four, coordinate geometry. What what are you going to learn under what coordinate geometry? What are the topics you to cover under coordinate geometry? In coordinate geometry, we have called midpoints and gradients of a line segment. B distance between two points. C parallel and particular line, D equation of straight line. So that thing you need to cover under what this coordinate geometry. Then number five is what trigonometry. In trigonometry, you must cover what trigonometrical ratio of angles. That is the first one. The second one is what angles of elevation and depression. The third one is what is bearing. The fourth one is what areas and solution of angles. The next one is what graphics. Of sines and cosines. The last one is sine, sine and cosines formula. 
just um, then section four is what is calculus. Calculus. You are looking at our differentiation, application of our differentiation, and what uh, integration. So now look at what differentiation. The topics. In the topic here, you are looking at what limits of a function. Then for some B, differentiation of explicit algebra, algebraic and uh, simple trigonometrical function like sines, cosines, or what tangents. So that is everything I want to learn about what differentiation. Then number two is what is application of what differentiation. Application of what differentiation. So yeah, yeah, I want to look at what rate of change. Then for some B, maximum and uh, minimum. Then, so here we only have to master what minimum and what rate of change. Then we have integration. In integration, here we have integration of what explicit algebraic and simple trigonometrical function. And here we have area under the curve. So, they are the two, they are the two topics you know, on level one integration. So, we are done with what the fourth session here.